make sure to get that clown makeup ready because today we're talking next gen consoles. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Um, so today's topic is going to be are these next gen consoles becoming more available on the market and to you as a consumer? Um, they did start out with a rough launch uh, November 12th and 10th. They were quickly bought up by scalpers. Um, it was almost nearly impossible to find any PlayStation 5s, Xbox Series X, anything like that. Um, within e your retailers or on their direct websites you had to sit in long queues as we all know this dreaded golden bar um, and you know it became a process of sitting in these people's streams who were monitoring the drops um, guilty of doing that one myself and then we also were sitting in long hour-long queues to end up not getting it because it sold out in 30 seconds waiting on retail sites till 3 in the morning um, just taking extreme measures for something that's you know it's not as urgent as I kind of realized because there's nothing to play on them that's anything groundbreaking you know Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk came out and it, it seems like it's only working on PC um, PlayStation had a few games that came out at launch you know but it wasn't enough for me to realize like I need this right now and then Xbox didn't have anything Halo got delayed till October 2021 and all you have is what's on Game Pass and I don't even see as an Xbox user why you would even purchase games if Game Pass is an option you know any game you've not played before is new so you take advantage of that this is more of a quick video I just kind of wanted to talk about the signs of life I saw this past week and what can maybe uh, make you guys feel a little bit better about trying to buy these consoles and what to look for really. Um, obviously I told you in previous videos you have to monitor Twitter because there are people that are sharking it and are going to be ready at moment's notice to let their audience know that that console you're looking for is live. And so we got two or three different drops this week all within before Friday. These all happened between Monday and Wednesday which is insane. And it's also insane the amount of people that have gotten it and the times they've stayed open, which isn't normal. Usually these things go live and within seconds it is sold out. Um, so the first one we had was a Best Buy drop. That was at 9 a.m. on Monday or Tuesday. I can't think off the top of my head which one specifically it was. Um, they had some issues at the start because everyone thought it was going to go live at 9 a.m. But they just said be ready by 9 a.m. And then later in the day they did go live. People did get some. Um, and then following that, Walmart had a drop at 3 p.m. later in the day, and not only was it just a 3 p.m. drop, they released more and more stock um, every 10th minute of the hour. So I think after Walmart's drop, at least 3,000 people have picked up a console, which is awesome. Congratulations to them. And then Best Buy um, yesterday, I know that for a fact, tweeted this tweet right here um, saying look out there's gonna be another drop coming when I went to my local Best Buy I asked them you know when do you think you guys might have some inventory what about online they told me not till January 2021 so seeing this news is awesome um, we also got a PlayStation Direct drop yesterday around 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. and it was an interesting one I know people really rush to get in those they want they feel like they need to be the first in line that's not how it works but you know, I did see the the people were, you know, from the time it started and people were waiting in queue and waiting till they got their opportunity to buy it, it stayed open for like a half hour. And I, I believe a lot of people were able to get it, even one of my uh, close friends here. So I'm really excited for him. I'm, you know, I'm waiting until the end of the month, you know, just get through the holiday rush. But nonetheless I'll get it it's I, I'm not in a rush like I've been enjoying still games on PlayStation 4 going back to some old stuff on PC that we'll be covering on Friday's video where we talk about Star Wars the Old Republic um, but let me know what you guys think Do you guys think it's becoming more available or is it something you still feel like it's you know too far out of reach uh, but let me know uh, I'm excited to hear what you guys think if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like down below as well as hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying my content and we will see you guys in the next video Thank you.